Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty fantastic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today's design is the wicked cool ATNG Malleus main battle tank from Power Plastics Tinkercad Works. Once again, it is an epic creation. It comes with notes, but I'm going to shut those off just for a moment. Let's take a quick spin around this wicked cool main battle tank. Of course, right over here, there is a history cube. Let's do F to fit view and check out those details. Acadia's most common fourth generation tank, the A200, was no longer considered adequate as it was poorly optimized for the Acadian climate. Thus, a new design designated the Malleus was in development. The tank was developed behind closed doors for years, pretty much to public worry. The tank has received international praise from defense experts. All around the world, it is widely seen as on par with the AHX Arctotus. It would soon be unveiled at the Acadian Arms Expo, where it was the main attraction. Alright friends, let's dive in to the real machine. Right here we've got ERA, which means electric reactive armor plates. They use electricity to disintegrate shells when impacting. Wow! This is a hydro pneumatic suspension. It allows for the tank to reduce its size by lowering its tracks. Has great performance when on rough roads. Sweet! Of course, right here we have the 3B93 315mm electromagnetic railgun. This is one of four cameras on the Malleus for high situational awareness. These notes right here refer to one of my favorite features about this tank. Check it out. We can hit T for transparent and see the interior. I have adjusted my angles and as you can see we've got the front camera, the rear camera, the right camera, and the left camera. Right in front, easy for you to spot. We have a turret style driving wheel. Down here we have got the pedal and this is that note for that suspension system. Right here we have got the driver's seat and over here we have got the gunner's seat. If we zoom in you can see here we've got the wheel for taking control of the turret. It can be overridden by the commander. These are the monitors. And this note is about that armor. Looking to the left, we've got the wheel for taking control of the panoramic sight. We've also got the monitors, and this is the commander's seat. As we look through while it's transparent, check out the cool details, like the marks that would be on that metal floor. I am going to shut off the transparency with the letter T. And then right here, we can find the air conditioning unit. It is nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare proof. Right here we have got the main gunner sight with fourth generation thermals. One feature that's cool about this is if we hit T for transparent, we can look through and see the thermal sights. Bouncing back just a little bit, you can see here we have forward mounted hard kill APS launchers. This is the remote weapon station with dual 12.7 millimeter machine guns along with the needle anti-drone missile launchers. We can spot those from this angle. This is the commander's panoramic sight for observing the battlefield. It uses third generation thermals. As we spin around the back, check it out. Behind the ERA plate is a launcher that fires a reconnaissance drone that can observe the battlefield and relay information to the crew. That's sweet. As we spin around, you can see that here is where that comes out of. And then down below we have the engine grill. And right here, this is a hard kill APS system. It launches counter projectiles to intercept incoming enemy munitions. Friends, as we click this note, it's about the Bustle Autoloader 26 shells. Once again, if we hit T for transparent, check it out. There it is. That is so epic. That also means with a little bit of skill, I can get inside and even see the engine. Power plastics, that's wicked. Of course, friends, if we spin to the back, and I'm going to shut off these notes for a second. If we hit T, 
we can see the engine from that angle as well. That's also a good view of the camera. A quick look at the munitions. This is an HEPAV, high explosive plasma anti-vehicle round. It essentially takes inspiration from the traditional heat shell. Instead of typical explosives, special materials are used, which when reacting to kinetic energy create a highly destructive plasma blast. This kinetic round is also available for the tank despite its unveiling being kept secret. Also right here we have the needle. It is an anti-drone launcher, a weapon that can hold and fire four small missiles that can accurately disable enemy drones. Finally, we have a detailed view of the 3,555 horsepower engine of the ATNG. It is extremely powerful and efficient, allowing the tank to reach speeds of 145 kilometers per hour. Wow. Friends, I'm going to shut off those notes and let's take one more look at this wicked cool main battle tank created by Power Plastics Tinkercad Works. Oh my gosh, so many details and the effort you put into this is absolutely fantastic. Once again, Power Plastics, thank you so much for sharing with us. Friends, remember if you ever create something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so darn easy. All you need to do is click up here on the collaboration button, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if those options don't work for you, don't forget there is also my website, HLModTech.com. I have got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. You can also find my day one lessons, useful starters, and and the Tinkercad Essentials. Friends, down at the bottom, you'll also find a link to the built-in messaging tool. If you click that button, you can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 700 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, I do also want to let you know that right under the Essentials is my Tinkercad profile. When you click that link, you will see all of my designs sorted by most recent. Don't forget if you click on any design under the property, you will likely find a tutorial that'll help you build it yourself. Of course, friends, reactions are also appreciated. If you'd rather see them sorted by the total likes, you can click here and you can check out my most popular projects. Of course, no matter which design you pick, there will be a tutorial. Don't forget, friends, there are also circuit designs and code block designs that you can check out as well. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to Power Plastic Tinkercad Works. Oh my goodness, your designs are unbelievably epic and I love the attention to detail. Once again, thanks for sharing your project so it can be part of Tinkercad TV. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a question down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.